Mission Possible, a question. How do you make Lake Erie smart? Just a cell phone can actually show you in real time traffic as well as help you find a parking spot. So what can the lake tell us? Well, the Cleveland Water Alliance, a local nonprofit, already has some of those answers in a growing sector known as freshwater economy. Matt Wintz has the story. This is a sound that calls for many. To grab a paddle or a fishing rod and just enjoy Lake Erie. But others hear opportunity in the fast growing job sector of water economy. It is growing more quickly than advanced manufacturing, than additive manufacturing, than biotechnology. This summer, a network of smart buoys went to work in Lake Erie. They are floating laboratories, collecting real time information and sending it to shore. That allows for swift decisions about water quality and management. A lot of these buoys allow us to trial new innovations to new technologies worldwide here in Cleveland. In fact, right now we've got 71 companies in our pipeline from Europe that want to come to Cleveland, trial their new technologies in our test bed. The Cleveland Water Alliance is working with partners to make Lake Erie and its watershed one of the most connected and studied fresh bodies of water in the entire world, all along Ohio's lakeshore. We're trying to have a just a just a minimum number of buoys a one per county that's going to be able to tell boaters and others what are the conditions offshore. The information collected is not just for recreation. The National Weather Service, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and the U.S. Coast Guard are all watching the data. Private sector businesses are also intrigued. It's just the ability to obtain better data. In situ designs, manufactures, and sells water monitoring sensors worldwide. Several of their sensors are on the test bed buoys. The results they get will go into building better sensors. Being able to see what's happening in real time can allow you to respond to events that are taking place as they unfold. In Northeast Ohio, we are already seeing the benefits. Gives them a little bit of a, a heads up of what's coming. French company by Ocean Ore used to test bed, developing a warning system for hypoxia, or oxygen starved water. It was of great concern for Cleveland water, but now buoys, they sound the alarms hours ahead of time. Very valuable. We couldn't have gotten this information any other way. A telecommunications network is the newest addition to Cleveland's water economy, placing high-tech radios on towers, rooftops, and even on the steamship Mather. This new telecommunications network is specifically focused on water and on covering the offshore waters of Lake Erie. So it's a, it's a lower cost way for us to cover a very large area. Before, each sensor needed its own cellular network connection. Now one radio can handle thousands of sensors, driving down cost and making Cleveland's water economy even more attractive. It's certainly the role that Cleveland Water Alliance is playing and all this is vital. Seeing major investments being made to build infrastructure that'll be resilient to things like climate change and population growth. Stubbs says it charts a path of new products, companies and good paying jobs right here in Cleveland for decades to come. We need to be betting on the water economy now because we can be competitive and we can control a decent chunk of that. Matt Wintz, 3 News. All righty, after the break, we have another check of your forecast. In the